Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share the eight useful apps that I currently have on my phone as of 2022. Some of these apps pretty much helped me become more productive while I was still a student. And some of them I wish I had discovered earlier as it would have definitely helped me become more efficient with my time, not only during my studies, but even life after school. So I thought it'd be fun to share them with you to make your life easier or to simply let you know that these useful apps exist. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now for starters, let's talk about the Transit app. I honestly think that this should be the first thing you download when you get here. As a student, I take the bus and train daily to get anywhere in the greater Vancouver area. And initially, when I started taking public transit here, I would get anxious about where to go, when the bus or train would arrive, and just the whole preparation process in planning my commute. So this app basically wipes away those worries. It helps you plan your trip, gives you all the information you need from the buses near your current location, several transit options to get to your destination, and you can even set what time you plan to leave or arrive, helping you get to where you want to go faster. So I love this. I would literally be lost without it. So it's a definitely must have app on your phone. Second, let's talk about Notion. It's been a game changer for me, especially with content creation and simply getting my life in order. Notion is an all-in-one workspace where you can write, plan, collaborate, and get organized. From reading lists, habit trackers, meal planners, resumes, and even daily journaling, Notion is your guy. I wish I had discovered this back then while I was still a student, but at least you can take advantage of its features, whether you're in school or at work or for your personal life. Moving on, let's talk about app number three, which is GoodNotes. Ah, yes, the note-taking app that everyone is raving about on TikTok, especially if you have an iPad and Apple Pencil on hand. To be honest, I am quite old school when it comes to note-taking, but there's three reasons why I get the hype. One, Love the idea of going paperless. The iPad with Apple Pencil can replace several notebooks, saving you room and also saving the environment. Second, you have better organization. You can create folders and subfolders for different courses with all of the data safely secured within the app. Last but not least, I believe that the most attractive feature of this app is its searchability. So if you want to look for a specific keyword, you can do so by typing it in the search bar and all of your notes containing that keyword will appear. Even your handwritten notes, making all your notes easy to find. So yeah, it's just worth sharing, but if you're traditional like me, a notebook and pencil would suffice. Next up, the fourth app worth mentioning is Boost. So Boost is basically an app that allows you to pre-order food on campus. Uh, for example, I found that Boost is available in most local schools in Vancouver like BCIT, SFU, UBC, and Langara. Once you plot in your chosen school, you can then check out the various food options they have on campus and place an order. Afterwards, schedule a pickup time that works for you and pay using a debit or a credit card or if you have a meal plan, you can link it to the app as well. The best part is you don't need to wait in long lines, helping you save time and be more productive in the other aspects of your student life. Now here's another food-related app that's worth mentioning because it's actually quite popular here. I don't know about you, but sometimes I only want the exact ingredients that I'll need to cook for myself and for my family. HelloFresh is a meal subscription plan that does just that. It delivers weekly meal kits with pre-measured ingredients and recyclable packaging, helping us make easy to cook meals. It takes the guesswork out of meal planning and you can choose and personalize your meal plans based on your eating habits and food preferences. There's options for quick and easy or smart meals, vegetarian and pescatarian meals, and much more. So if you want to alleviate yourself from the stress in meal planning, then give HelloFresh a try. Now the next app is pretty common. I'm pretty sure you know of this. And the one that I'm talking about is Indeed. As some of you may already know, international students are allowed to work a maximum of 20 hours per week off campus. So if you're on the hunt for a part-time job while studying, one of the apps that I've relied on, aside from LinkedIn, 
is Indeed. Indeed opens you to a plethora of career opportunities that you can apply for. Not only does it offer customization features tailored to jobs you're looking for, but it also gives you access to company reviews and salary guides. To create an account is free, just sign up with your email address, fill up the necessary info, upload your CV, and start alerting employers that you're available for hire. Indeed also has a lot of tools and resources to strengthen your profile to potentially help you secure more interviews and land actual offers. Now, seventh app on the list is Neo Financial. So Neo Financial is an all-in-one app that allows you to spend, save, settle bills, and rewards you for all the hard work you pour into managing your personal finances. They offer a lot of innovative services that I simply cannot get in most traditional banks, like getting 15% cash back on first-time purchases at Neo Partners, an average 5% cash back at Neo Partners, and earn at least 1% cash back across all purchases. There's also the Neo Money, which does everything an everyday bank does. There's no minimum balances or monthly fees. Plus, you can earn up to 1.3% interest rates on savings, which is a lot more compared to traditional banks. Lastly, paying your bills using the Neo Secured Card is a good way to build credit as a newcomer to Canada. I use this for my daily spending, especially when I go make a trip to Costco or Superstore for grocery shopping, and if I want to treat myself via retail therapy. It doesn't require a hard credit check, and you get to be in control by picking a spending limit that you're totally comfortable with, avoiding any surprises. Everything is 100% digital, so no need to go through the hassle of dropping by a physical branch, and you can make physical and digital transactions wherever they accept MasterCard. Pretty underrated, so if you're an international student, a professional, or someone in search of a reliable and secured finance app, then consider Neo Financial. Finally, our last app is Splitwise. Splitwise is the easiest way to share expenses with friends or family, so you don't have to stress about who owes who what. With Splitwise, you can finally solve all those payment hassles, whether you're splitting expenses for rent, vacation, lunch, dinner, or groceries. This app lets you split the costs equally or according to quantities, shares, or percentages. Whether you're an international student or not, this app saved me a ton of brain cells since it computes everything automatically. So it's just good to have this app in your arsenal should the occasion arise. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope these apps change the trajectory of your student life here in Canada. Seriously though, I'm glad to have discovered these apps because they've made my life so much easier in and out of school. I do hope you picked up a thing or two from this video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel for more related content for international students in Canada. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be safe and be kind. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.